There's little kids that uh, came with their parents yesterday, and they were wrapped up in the blankets uh, out there waiting in the food line. As temperatures continue to drop, the Salvation Army is providing emergency disaster services to one community in Catoosa. We told you last night, people living in the Pine Creek Estates Trailer Park have no way to heat their homes right now as they haven't had gas since a fire back on Christmas Eve. Fox 23's Alex Cash visited that community again today to learn how the Salvation Army is helping out. There's been a steady stream of people here at the truck all evening. People huddled in blankets, getting hold of more blankets and warm food, just trying to warm up in the cold. Dora told me she's three months pregnant, has three kids aged 12, 6 and 2 years old. She says they're cold and worried. I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, I don't know. It just sucks that this is what we have to live through. Like, it just sucks, and then it's like, what do you tell your kids? Like, we're trying to live, and it's like, what do you tell your kids? She lives in one of the 57 homes in this trailer park, Pine Creek Estates in Catoosa, that have been without gas since Christmas Eve. My daughter has, like, four or five comforters, not blankets there, like, big blankets on her. My son's in a crib, so we kind of build a little fort around him, and then me, me on my bed, we have, like, three blankets over us trying to tape our windows to make sure the cold air doesn't come in. We've been doing okay, but this cold air that's coming in, like right now, um, it's struggling. It's struggling to stay warm. A fire and gas leak caused the line to the homes to be shut off. One person living at the park told me off camera an elderly woman has been taken to the hospital from the trailer park with pneumonia because of the cold. Wade Normandin from the Salvation Army told me their volunteers are giving out their emergency disaster services to the community. To serve a hot meal to the, the residents that live here, uh, they're having a real tough time. The Salvation Army have given out space heaters and have this truck on site in the evenings. Normandin told me they have around 200 hot meals and 100 blankets to give out. Workers are having to redo the gas line to feed each house. The Salvation Army says they're going to be helping the people at the trailer park until January 21st. Normandin says the Salvation Army wants to make sure the community knows they have support. That's the key that uh, they know that uh, they are loved that somebody's thinking about them, that they're on somebody's radar because it's easy to just slip through the cracks. The people here told me they're so appreciative of any help that they can get. The Salvation Army say that they're going to be out here every night through the cold weather through to the 21st of January. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.